In this video, we'll walk through setting up a Windows VM on a Synology NAS using Virtual Machine Manager in Legacy BIOS mode. In a previous video, I covered configuring a Windows VM using UEFI. If you'd like to check out that setup, there's a link to that video in the description below. As with the last video, we'll set up Windows with a local account by passing the default requirement to log on with a Microsoft profile. We'll also install Synology Guest Tools for Virtual Machine Manager, set up network access so the VM can connect to the host Synology NAS, and configure remote desktop access to the Windows VM. Let's get started by first making sure Virtual Machine Manager is installed through the Package Center. Next, we'll set up a shared folder which we'll use to upload the Windows ISO file needed for this setup. You'll then want to download the Windows ISO file that you intend to use. If you're installing Windows 11, you can download the ISO file from Microsoft's software download page, which I'll link to in the description below. Note, when I created this video, the ISO available directly from Microsoft was version 24H2 of Windows 11, which wouldn't install properly in Virtual Machine Manager. However, I was able to install the current version of Windows 10 and Windows 11 version 23H2, which is the version I used in my previous video and the one we'll be using for this video. Once you've downloaded the Windows ISO file, switch back to DSM and upload the file to the shared folder that was just created. Now, open Virtual Machine Manager. Run through the initial Virtual Machine Manager setup steps if this is the first time you've launched the application. Then switch to the Image section. From here, click Add, select From Synology NAS, and choose the ISO file that was just uploaded. Once selected, click Next in the Choose an Installation File window. Select the VM storage location where the image will be added, then click Done to create the ISO. You'll also want to download the Synology Guest Tools ISO as well. Once both ISO files show a status of healthy, go to the Virtual Machine section and click Create. Here, ensure Microsoft Windows is selected. Click Next on the Select Storage window. In the Configure General Specifications window, give your Windows VM a name. Allocate at least two CPUs and a minimum of four gigabytes of memory. For storage, provision at least 64 gigabytes. For network, leave it as is unless you have a custom network setup. In other settings, select the Windows ISO for boot up, confirm that firmware is set to legacy BIOS, and leave the rest as default. Click Next in the Assign Power Management Permissions window. Then enable the Power On Virtual Machine After Creation option in the Summary window and click Done. When the Connect button becomes enabled, click it to open the VM's Web VNC console where you should see the start of the Windows setup process. Make sure the language and other preferences are set as you like, then click Next and Install Now. When prompted, select I don't have a product key for now. Then for the operating system, I'd recommend selecting Windows 11 Pro. At this point, you'll likely see a warning saying that this PC can't support Windows 11, so exit the installation. From the Windows Setup window, press Shift F10 to bring up the command prompt. Type regedit and hit Enter to open the Windows Registry Editor. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, then System, then Setup. Under Setup, create a new key by right-clicking in the main window Select New, then Key, and name the key LabConfig. Within LabConfig, create two DWORD 32-bit values named Bypass TPM Check 
and bypass Secure Boot Check and set the value of each to 1. Now you can close the Registry Editor, exit the Command Prompt, and start the Windows Setup process. You can now either enter a product key or choose I don't have a product key once again. I again recommend selecting Windows 11 Pro. Now continue through the setup. Accept the Microsoft Software License Terms and click Next. Choose Custom Install Windows Only for installation type, then click Next to install Windows on the unallocated drive that was set up earlier. This installation process took approximately 15 minutes to complete on my NAS. Once the installation is complete, the VM will reboot and we can continue with the setup. To create a local account, rather than use a Microsoft account, press Shift F10 again at the Country or Region Selection window to open the command prompt. Then type OOBE backslash bypass NRO and press Enter to disable the internet connection requirement and reboot the VM. When you're back at the same screen, open the command prompt again and type ipconfig slash release to release the IP address, then type exit to close the command prompt. Now proceed with the setup by selecting your country and keyboard. When prompted, select I don't have internet and choose continue with limited setup. Create a local account by entering a username, password, and complete the security questions. Choose your privacy settings, and in a few minutes, you'll be logged into your fresh install of Windows. Next, let's install the Synology Guest Tools for Virtual Machine Manager, which provides drivers and additional functions to the VM. Open File Explorer, navigate to the CD drive where the ISO is mounted, and run through the installation. Reboot the VM after the software is installed. You can also return to Virtual Machine Manager and unmount both the Windows 11 and Synology Virtual Machine Manager guest tool ISOs while the system is rebooting. The reboot will bring the VM back online as well. To access files directly from the Synology NAS, we can use SMB, which is enabled by default in DSM. In Windows, open File Explorer, select Network, and turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing, which I'll enable only for the private network I'm using. Windows Network Discovery will then detect the Synology NAS running the VM, along with any other SMB servers on your network allowing you to log in and view files on the NAS. Finally, we'll enable remote desktop access to the Windows VM. Open Settings, select System, and Remote Desktop. Toggle on the Remote Desktop switch and click Confirm on the pop-up window. Next, open Network and Internet Settings of the VM to get the IP address assigned to its Ethernet adapter. You can now bring up your remote desktop client to create a connection to the Windows VM and log in. Note that I found that the time was incorrect in my setup, so adjust the date and time settings if necessary. At this point, you should have a fully functioning Windows VM running on your Synology NAS. If you do, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Also, check out my previous video on installing a Windows VM on a Synology NAS listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.